Spotlight time. Patrick, Baseball Mapper. Today we're going to talk a little bit about one team in particular, a new series we're going to give a shout out. We're going to go ahead and focus on one team. And the first one, well, damn it, it's a good one. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos are our spotlight focus for this week. And this is a team, an organization that probably doesn't need any more shine from us because they got plenty of shine on their own. Everything the Pensacola Blue Wahoos seems to work out great. And even in a year where they had a pandemic, there was nothing but awards being thrown their way. To start, there are people who say that baseball is boring. And I just don't agree. Not just because I'm a baseball fan. But when you think about some of the places you can go to see baseball, it's hard to think that it's boring. Just take a look at the view. If you go to Fetterman Field... To see a Pensacola Blue Wahoos game, look at the view off of the Pensacola Bay. It's right there in the background. You have that as the backdrop while you're taking in a game. You don't even have to be 100% focused on the game. I mean, you should probably watch out for foul balls. That's a good idea. But just take in the view. Look at the aerial shot of this ballpark, too. It includes... All of the locations around the ballpark immediately, including an amphitheater where people can go and catch live music and things like that, different uh, days of the week. Also a splash pad. There's all kinds of stuff to see just in the area of the ballpark. And that's something that I think anybody could enjoy. So it's worth checking out just for the views. The ballpark views are really where it's at. It's just a beautiful place for baseball, especially at night. But to talk about a team that just so happens to find a way to always get it right, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos are actually an award-winning franchise. They've won Ballpark of the Year, Organization of the Year, multiple times. When, When they are given a challenge, they seem to overcome it. And they're always kind of out in front of certain things, including during the pandemic. Don't forget, 2020, nobody was able to go to games and see the Pensacola Blue Wahoos in person. So they had to get creative. And one of the things they did is, uh, well, they used their co-owner. One of the owners uh, with Quint Studer is also Bubba Watson, PGA Tour golfer Bubba, Bubba Watson. And they came up with a golf a disc competition. There's golfing that happens at Pensacola during last season. They kind of gave the opportunity for fans to come into the ballpark and do something a little different, obviously, um, while observing uh, the distance from each other. But it was just a unique way to find a way to get people into the ballpark. They also, probably the most unique thing to do, and which earned them uh, multiple uh, Golden Bobblehead Awards, which is given to teams who have the most exciting and engaging promotions for the community, is they offered up their ballpark as an Airbnb. Now, we've mentioned this before in previous videos, but if you go on to their website and check out uh, at the bottom of the page here, you can actually click to Airbnb info, and you can look at renting the ballpark for a day. Pensacola is unique in this way. They came up with this idea first, and I imagine other teams are going to try to find a way to do something similar too. And only $1,500 a night, you can reserve space to get the ballpark, to enjoy the view, stay in the facility, use all of the amenities, including batting batting cages, uh, using the clubhouse, using these areas to enjoy, to play catch, to run around on the grass, but also to stay overnight inside the clubhouse. Beds are set up for people, bunk beds for the kids. Uh, Just a really cool opportunity to see how ball players' life is a little bit, play a little ping pong there in the clubhouse, but also to have a a once-in-a-lifetime experience. An award-winning opportunity for an award-winning club. The Pensacola Blue Wahoos have it all figured out. And if you get the opportunity to catch a game at Fetterman Field, you should go. It's highly recommended.